Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. And in this video, I want to help you guys make some money if you guys are playing on the Xbox when there is no hunting or other opportunities to really make money unless you only really want to do the showdown series. Now, this is probably one of the only other ways I know besides the showdown series, but I would probably recommend doing the showdown series anyway. So that's just something that I'm briefly going to talk about throughout this video. But what you need to do if you want to go hunting with a small posse, and you can do this with up to four players, so two to four players, is just go into any of the missions that you would like to. Now for this one specifically, I'm going to go to kill them each and every one. Now when you're in here, all you have to do is start matchmaking and it will start finding the players for you. Now once you get into this lobby here, you can go ahead and ready up. We started with three people and we will eventually get a fourth one into the lobby. And we were just kind of talking basically about what we are going to do and what our intentions were in this session. Now, in this session, we are planning on going hunting to make a little extra cash. And now you can see that we have our fourth player. Now, like I said, you can only do this with up to four players. So if you have a posse of seven, it's not really going to work. So what you want to do is just start the mission. And as soon as you're able to go ahead and skip this cutscene, you just want to skip out of it and start the mission. Now, what you want to do is from here is just kind of head towards Tumbleweed. And it takes a little bit of a ride on the horse because your horse does spawn for you and animals will start to spawn for you. Now, there are a couple exceptions to this. You're not going to be able to do full fishing and you're not going to be able to go after any big game. Now, the big game is going to basically be like the cougars and anything like that. So unfortunately, a lot of the money making opportunities around Tumbleweed are cougars just three cougar locations down around tumbleweed but as you can see i'm hunting pretty much anything that i can find the other thing that you're not gonna be able to find is the pronghorn bucks or anything like that now there's a lot of condors in the area you can shoot the ravens there's bald eagles there's golden eagles there are hawks there are owls if it's uh, certain times of day so there are those opportunities now the other thing that i actually did try in this specific one and you will see that in a moment is I actually head down to the small shack and look for the trout and I actually did get a trout and as you can see I go ahead and shoot this condor that's in the sky there I do shoot a bald eagle but it gets stuck on the side of a cliff and I wasn't able to actually retrieve it and I didn't want to necessarily lose one of our team lives by me trying to continuously pick it up so I just decided that I was going to completely leave it alone but all I am doing in this video is hunting anything that I can find. You can see me just aiming all over the place until I can find something. I'm shooting iguanas, jackrabbits, uh, ravens, crows, condors, eagles. There's a couple coyotes that I go after later that I was able to find. Uh, some people have said that they found some turkeys. And you can see that there's some chat going on in the side if you look really carefully. And basically it was just everybody's kind of saying what what they were able to find and kind of the general location now pretty much everything that i've mentioned is what everybody was finding um as you can see here's the bald eagle down by the shack but i it falls down on the side of the cliff and you can kind of just briefly see it there and i just was not quite able to reach it and i fell off a cliff and then the next time i tried to go back up there and slide down it and i was like well i'm gonna see if i can lasso it and it just didn't work but if you guys are going to do this for money making i really suggest honestly that you guys just do some showdown series now i did make in a half an hour period this is how long that we actually recorded this for was a half an hour is including and then right after that we did went into the mission is we did make almost sixty dollars from the mission by waiting six uh, 30 minutes and then i also made i don't think it was probably more than 50 bucks on everything that i was able to get i was able to get like i said um a couple condors lots of jackrabbits um a couple iguanas a few coyote 
And actually, the last couple coyote that I do get, I wasn't able to sell the butcher. So I unfortunately, I lost a skin from them just because they went into the, the mission right away. So I lost the skins, but I was able to keep all the other parts that I was able to harvest that. So you're going to want to basically hunt for anything that you guys can find. And I literally mean anything. Now, what you're going to want to do as well is at least that I would recommend is just, just do some showdown series. If you guys are looking for the extra cash, you're going to make a little extra cash, especially if you're decent at any of the showdown series. Um, you can make 20 bucks, 30 bucks per time. And then you're also going to get a little bit of gold and experience for your, for your troubles. Now, the reason that I do like this method is you can go longer than a half an hour. If you want to, if you want to go hunting for an hour and a half, that is your, your option. You're not just not going to make any extra money by completing the mission. If you do this, it doesn't matter which mission that you would do. It's just, you're not going to make any more money. If you go over that half an hour mark, you're going to max it out. Now I was able to also get 1200 experience points from it. Plus all the kills of the animals, plus any of the kills at the fort itself. So I was able to rank up during this process and I probably made close to 2000 experience points in a half an hour period, which is absolutely fantastic considering that at the Xbox ed edition and console is completely broken in Red Dead Online. And this is really the only way that you guys can go hunting if you want to go hunting. Now there are a few different missions that you guys can do and you can do the one that's really close to Valentine uh, and you can go after like pigs and sheep. And that's going to help you guys get some meat. If you guys are looking to cook it for, for the showdown series, or maybe you guys are planning on doing a PVP battle, because that's really all you have an option to do. You have the missions, which is repeating the missions, which is what I'm doing here. You have showdown series and you have pretty much have PVP. Those are your options because it's so incredibly broken right now. And that is really unfortunate. And the video that I did the other day just kind of talked about the brokenness and this video, I just wanted to be able to kind of explain some of the methods that you guys can do to get experience, to make money, to make gold with it still being completely broken. Because every time that I've been able to do this, we were able to, I was able to get on a horse and we were able to ride to tumbleweed and look for pretty much everything that we we're looking for again. You can't find the cougars, so you can't hunt for them, but you can see that I have a lot of me from meat from other things and you can see my money going up pretty good. And I think by the very end of it, I had uh 20 or 3,035. Maybe it was a little bit more than that. I can't remember exactly what I had ended out. And then the other thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that your guns are prepped for when you do start the mission. Now I was planning on heading back towards the mission starting point, but I kept, I kept on hearing birds and I didn't see any in the area. And uh, then I heard the coyotes and that's when I decided that I was just going to go after the coyotes and just kind of be done with it. So I did make, I would make a little extra money from this if I would have been able to sell these parts to the butcher and then another player to came and at least got another one. And if I was using the Lancaster, so I probably should have been using a different rifle or weapon in this case, but I was just kind of in a hurry because he's like, we only have a couple minutes left and I'm going to start it. So I was just kind of in a panic mode and I just decided I was just going to kill him and skin him as quick as possible. So, but you guys can make decent amount of money. You're losing out on the biggest money-making opportunities. However, the one thing that I would have loved to test is if we have access to herons around Saint Denis. So if there, I'm trying to remember if there's a mission that's really, really close by beside Valentine is really the closest one that's coming to my mind. There is the one that is at the stables outside of Emerald ranch. That's a little bit closer and, but I haven't trusted to see if those birds exist because if they do, that's going to be by far the best way to hunt and make money. And then just go back and finish the mission whenever you guys are ready. So this is just us basically completing the mission and getting a lot more experience points. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get my get my guns set up the way that I wanted them to. So I ended up going into the mission, this mission with my varmint rifle 
and my shotgun. So I wasn't able to participate, unfortunately, in the the split tip, which would have given me um, more XP from it. But uh, I was able to, you know, do some decent damage with my varmint rifle because of the perks that I do use. And every time that I get a headshot uh, with, with um, eye for an eye, I was able to basically restore a little bit of my deb dead eye here. So you guys can just play however you want, but at least this guy, at least this gives you the opportunity to one go hunting, make some extra money. Cause we really don't know. And it's not addressed anywhere. How long red dead online for the Xbox console is going to be broken. We have, we literally, we literally have no idea right now. So just get into a mission. If you want to make some extra money and you're not really into showdowns and you don't want to do the other PVP things, because you're not going to make money doing PVP unless you're doing the showdown series, you're definitely not going to get it from griefers. So just kind of plan accordingly and whatever that might be. But that is really everything that I wanted to be able to share uh, with you guys in this video. So if you guys do have any questions or comments about this method with how crappy the Xbox one has been with Red Dead Online, especially the last week. I mean, this is going on three days that this has been happening, and hopefully Rockstar will get this fixed as soon as possible. But if you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it, and you guys stay gaming. I'm gonna go to the